But on the night of August 4th, 1993, Josh Isaacs, a 13-year-old attending a Southern California summer camp, wasn't so lucky. He was attacked by a black bear while he was sound asleep. At first, he thought it was a raccoon. And then I suddenly felt myself, my body lurching over, and I feel this felt like teeth or something was scratching on the back of my head and I realized that you know this is a raccoon you know it's a bear and I'm lying there with this bear on my back you know eat chewing on the back of my head I, I start screaming for help because you know I realize that you know playing dead really doesn't work when the bear is already eating you when bears typically attack their prey they typically go for the head or the face and that's because all their interactions with other bears that's where they fight and that's where they attack sometimes the problem with black bear attacks lies with the people that feed them don't let a bear get feed and certainly never feed it because you may create a problem for somebody else later and result in somebody else's injury or property damage or the death of that bear josh's screams woke up camp counselor neil hansen i heard the screaming i thought it was a nightmare or something so i shouted to him just keep the sleeping bag. I could see some legs sticking out from the animal and I kicked it just lightly and the bear jumped out, stood in front of me on two legs. What I noticed the most was when he shined the light on his face and he had these long white yellow teeth with blood just dripping down its chin and onto its chest. Neil was right to confront the bear. Unlike grizzlies, which fight harder when challenged, black bears can be intimidated. The bear that attacked Josh was later tracked down and destroyed. But although he endured over 150 stitches, Josh refuses to hold a grudge. Blaming the bears, like saying, well, you know, I blame the mountain for having bears, or I blame, you know, God or for making bears, or, and I wouldn't worry about going camping or going to summer camp because no matter where you go, there's risks, and either you face them or you live a really boring life. <laughs>